grocery haul number two for this week. If you guys watched Monday's haul, that was Trader Joe's. And I mentioned I do have three for this week because we just stocked up. We are good for at least a month as far as like getting down to the wire again and pulling meals together with what we picked up and like some snack stuff for the kids. We will be picking up like fresh items, produce, some dairy stuff over the next few weeks. But for the main part, we are good to go. So today is all about HEB and it was definitely a hefty price tag. I'm gonna show you guys everything that we picked up and I will be popping up individual prices as well so you guys can see how we got to that grand total, which I don't have my receipt with me, but I think it was around the $700 mark, um, but we got sushi and that was like a good 40 bucks <laughs> and some other things. We got some convenience things as we're shopping. So it definitely adds up quickly though. Okay, got everything out on the table. However, the buffet piece behind me is also full, but we're gonna start over here for everything that we picked up from H-E-B and starting with the ice cream because it is like liquid right now. We mistakenly went through the freezer section first in this store. Normally we like go through the produce section and work our way around, but this time we parked on the other side and we weren't thinking about it. So the ice cream is soup right now. So we need to get that in the freezer. Um, so ice cream, here it is. We got um, pretty much one for everybody. Yeah, you can see it here. So anyway, I've got the mint chocolate chip. Rose likes that one. I got the chocolate chip cookie dough. That's Bryce's favorite. And then Pearl likes the coffee. So we got coffee for her. And then I did go ahead and pick one up for each, Mark and I. Um, this Talenti gelato, gelato layers, cookies and cream. He really likes Oreos, so I got that one for him. And then I normally go for the coffee, but I saw this one, so I wanted to try it. And it is the coffee cookie crumble. Yum. So those ice creams as a yummy little treat. And I'm gonna go over here, because there's no rhyme or reason. We just unbagged everything and set it out. But here's the other ice cream items that we got. So we got the Nerds Bomb Pops. There's 12 in here. I've never picked these up before. I think the kids are really gonna like them because they really enjoy Nerds. And then they always love the Fudge Pops. So this is Fudgesicle, no sugar added, original Fudge Pops, and there's 18 in there. Okay, ice cream is put up. So now, like I said, everything's just randomly set out here, but we did pick up a six pack of Blue Moon. One, it is our favorite beer. We really like this one. And two, I have two boxes of beer bread in my pantry that I keep pulling and adding to the meal plan. And I'm like, wait, I don't have any beer. So two of those bottles are gonna be for those. Um, and then the other four we'll just enjoy. All right, this was like a last minute thought. I am on, let's just say like egg duty for Easter. So you guys are seeing this after Easter. So I hope you guys had a fantastic day spending it how you prefer. But we are going to my parents' house and I'm taking deviled eggs and homemade peanut butter, like Reese's peanut butter eggs. And I was like, you know what? Since I don't know if anybody else is bringing any kind of dessert, I'm not sure if everybody loves peanut butter. So I saw these at HEB, went ahead and picked them up. They're just little mini egg cakes. And I'm assuming, I'm not sure if they're vanilla or chocolate, but because of how many people are going to be there, it's a nine count and I got two of them. I'm pretty sure we'll have a couple extra or, you know, if whoever's not having the peanut butter eggs, they can have two of those. They are a good size though. So I did go ahead and pick those up just as a last minute thought. Um, for something extra. And then we did get some lunch items also. Uh, I, I think I've seen a meme where like you spend all day grocery shopping and you spend so much on food, but when you get home, you're like, let's order, let's order in. <laughs> like I'm done, I don't wanna cook anything. I have to put all this stuff up. And that's kind kind of how we feel for lunch today. We It's been like a weekend, a past like two days full of shopping, just filling up our house with goodies to last us for the next month or so. So we got sushi for lunch today. You guys actually, I. I filmed the Sam's Club haul first. We got sushi in that one. So the kids have had sushi two days in a row. Um, but this video is actually going out before the Sam's Club haul just because of like collabs I have going and how my schedule is working this time. Um, but Bryce tried the sushi from Sam's Club and really enjoyed it. He has not liked sushi in the past. So we got a variety for everybody to try this time. I think this was like $40 in sushi. So that definitely jacks up the price when you're getting some extra stuff. Um, but we got this Salmon Delight combo. They all got kind of 
you know, jumbled around in my car, but the Salmon Delight combo. We also got the tailgate combo. This has like a variety in here. And then the rainbow roll. That looks really pretty. Look at that avocado and salmon. Um, and then we, I got the California roll because I'm not huge on the salmon-y, um, on salmon, but I do like crab. Uh, I also like the vegetable roll, but I just went ahead and went, got this one. It's got the avocado and cucumber in there. So we got that. And then Rose doesn't like sushi. So I got her a nacho lunchable. She really likes the nacho lunchable. So she's had a lunchable two days in a row. And then I got Bryce, the turkey lunchable, just in case, or the sandwich lunchable, just in case, you know, yesterday was like a fluke. And he's like, eh, I don't want sushi today. I got him this as well. Okay, stocked up on the Jello. The kids really enjoy it when I pull this out after dinner. It's super easy. You just mix it with some hot water, then some cold water, put it in your fridge. And a few hours later, it's ready to go. So I got a couple different flavors. We've had this one before, the cherry limeade and the Sonic, really, really good. Um, we also tried the ocean water from Sonic and that one tasted a little weird. It kind of tasted like soapy to me, I don't know. So got the cherry limeade, also got the strawberry banana. That sounded good by Jell-O. And then I saw these two. So I got the original Skittles. They had the grape one too. I almost picked it up, but I was like, ah, well, we'll save that for next time. And this will last us all month. So I got the Skittles. Um, and then I got the watermelon in the Starburst. That sounded really good. We found the all pink one in the Starburst at the Dollar Tree, so we have that one. Um, so we've got a collection of Jell-O to have. I got some Mexican blend shredded cheese for a meal that I've got planned, as well as some of the nacho cheese bold old El Paso taco shells. And I like these ones because they're like the stand and stuff, so they just stand up and the kids can easily fill them. So I got that to go with a dinner one night. We got some kosher dill spill dill spears. After you guys watch the Sam's Club haul coming up, you're gonna see like we are set on the pickles. But I love where I'm making like a different kind of sloppy joe. I, I do have plans to film our meals so you guys can kind of see where all this food is going other than like the snacky items obviously. But some of the meals that I've got planned, I'm gonna be filming. So this week is full of grocery hauls. Next week will be some recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. I love spears when we have a any kind of sloppy joe. So I'm doing like a fun little take, different way of having sloppy joes and I wanted the spears to go on the side. Um, also making some red beans and rice. So I needed three cans of kidney beans, got that. And then Rose loves this orange juice. So I went ahead and picked up the Simply Orange. Normally I get the one with the blue label. It's just like a little extra calcium in it, but they didn't have that one. So as long as it's pulp free, and this brand, it's Rose's favorite. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then you guys, the last few times I've made waffles, the kids just like the Eggos. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna waste my time making homemade waffles if you guys just like the Eggos. I think it has to do with Stranger Things and Eleven liking Eggos, I don't know. But went ahead and got three different kinds. Instead of buying a big box of the buttermilk or the Homestyle, I got some of the other ones for the kids. So um, I think each of it, yes, each of the boxes have 10 waffles in here. So this will definitely last us. We've got the blueberry, the buttermilk, and the chocolatey chip. All the kids requested club crackers. And I like when they're individually packaged because it's less likely that the kids are going to leave a box open. And I don't have enough containers to be dropping everything into. There has been times where I found a box of crackers or chips in the pantry open and they're stale. So I like these ones. I'm not quite sure how the price compares to just buying a box of club crackers, but these are already like pre-packaged. There's six packs in here. And so I went ahead and got two boxes. So that'll last us a hot minute. The pizza crust by Pillsbury is for a recipe that I'm going to be making. Got some cilantro for something, carrot sticks. I have a packet of Fiesta Ranch in the pantry. I did pick up some sour cream. I'm gonna make that. So I got a couple things to be able to dip into that Fiesta Ranch. So I thought these carrot sticks would be a good option. Celery, I need that for a recipe. Plus we like to snack on that. Picked up just a small little thing of blackberries. The girls go through phases where they really like the blackberries. I think it just depends on how sweet they are, but this one says Sweet Caroline Blackberry. So pick that up. Need a green bell pepper for a recipe. I got two tomatoes. These are for sandwiches, so I'll just slice these up and put them in a little container in the fridge so we have them for sandwiches over the next week. Also for sandwiches, got the oven roasted turkey breast in the family size. This is Bryce's absolute favorite. He would eat a turkey sandwich every day if I didn't have something else uh, planned for lunch. So <laughs> made sure to stock up on that. 
Then coming down here, uh, making a salad to go with a dinner one night. So I picked up this spring mix. It's kind of like a ramen salad. It's got dry ramen noodles in it. So that's gonna be fun. Green onions, need this for a recipe. Picked up some calamari. The kids really like this. Whenever we're at a restaurant and calamari's on the menu, we pretty much always get it as an appetizer. So I went ahead and picked up two boxes just to have in the freezer, as well as french fries, little like potato auctions to go on the side of stuff or for lunch. So I got a huge pack of the french fries, so that will last us. And then I also got a huge pack of the tater tots. Another bag of bagels. Kids enjoy bagels in the morning. And then I thought I would eat on some English muffins. So I picked up some English muffins for me. The kids can have those as well, but they do like the bagels. All right, I'm making a, I also have like a little packet in the pantry that makes like a spinach dip. So I needed some spinach for that. I got this extra fine chopped spinach. Okay, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this liquid IV and I definitely do not drink enough water. I try. I try so hard to get water in and I even got the like the 40 ounce Stanley cup so I know how much I'm drinking and when I say water I mean like outside of that <laughs> so I figured if I can flavor my water that'll get me I at least drink one of those 40 ounces in the morning and then I'll I just revert to that I have a coke in the afternoon and that's that well outside of my coffee in the morning and that's it so I picked up these to try these are hydration multiplier which i thought was nice especially as it's getting hotter outside and you know those temperatures are starting to rise i thought this would be nice so it says one stick is faster hydration than water alone they had several different flavors i just picked up two to try to see if i like them because these are not cheap i think i mean i'm popping up prices but i think they were 15 15 a piece and there's 10 sticks in here so i mean when you break it down it's not that bad but anyway it's an extra cost outside of just drinking water, <laughs> you know? So I got the watermelon and then I got the lemon lime. I thought I would like those two flavors the most, but they do have several flavors to pick from. All right, this was just like an extra thing that I saw that I think Rose, for the most part, will be the excited about just because she always goes for the nacho Lunchables. But this is a nachos party pack. So it has the chips and a little nacho cheese cup, which I think is really cute. I think there's a, this is a four pack. Yeah, this is a four pack. So I'll just add this, oh, here you go. I'll just add this to like a lunch one day or maybe an afternoon snack. But I thought that was kind of cool that they had this like that. She's always like, she's just a chip and cheese type of girl. Pearl likes the little snacking peppers. So I did pick this up for her. This would be great in the Fiesta Ranch as well. I got some powdered sugar. This is actually for the peanut butter eggs. I have a little bit of powdered sugar, but um, my jar wasn't full. So I went ahead and picked up some more so I could top that off as well as the brown sugar. I need some brown sugar this week and my jar is, you know, less than half full. So I went ahead and picked up some more to fill that up. I need a couple onions. So I just got a small bag of the yellow onions. And then normally, I mean, in the past, I would stock, stock up on my block cheese at Sam's Club. However, they only have the mild sharp sharp they only have sharp cheddar and my kids just love the colby and monterey jack so i went ahead and picked that up i'll probably be picking up block cheese from heb or walmart from now on i don't think the price was horrible so went ahead and got that 32 ounce i'll be shredding that up just for several different recipes adding to dishes quesadillas that type of thing and then all of these cheeses our first sandwiches over the next a few weeks. So of course, Colby and Monterey Jack, that's the kid's favorite. And then I like to add meats and cheeses to my sandwich. I think Pearl does too. So outside of the Colby Jack, I got the Munster cheese and Havarti cheese. So these will be great to add to sandwiches. And then so I don't forget our assortment of beverages. We do, I am completely out of sparkling water. So stock back up on that. I got three different kinds, all H-E-B brand. I got the lime, the coconut, and then this is something, cranberry raspberry. Yeah, cranberry raspberry, that sounded really good. And then we do still have probably about five of each soda, maybe that we had, that we picked up a couple weeks ago. So again, just stocking up, so that'll keep me out of the store longer. All right, so I got the Dr. Pepper and cream soda in the zero sugar. I got the cherry vanilla in the zero sugar. They're all 12 packs. And then down there is just regular Coke in the zero sugar. And then, <laughs> Rose is running by. And then we went ahead and picked up the Coke in the zero sugar, but also zero caffeine because 
We like to have a mixed drink every now and then at the end of the night, but we don't want the caffeine. It definitely affects me for sure. It keeps me up. I have a hard time falling asleep and we've been on the hunt for this for a while and I just haven't been able to find it in the store. So I saw it at H-E-B, pick that up. That will actually stay in the back of our pantry and like so the kids don't take it or anything like that and it's just for a mixed drink at the end of the night whenever we want that. So definitely stocked up on the drinks. Do have a couple more drinks coming up. All right, I went ahead and got these little muffins for the kids. They really enjoy these. Um, it's the Little Bites, and I got three different flavors. There's only five packages in these, so they definitely go by pretty quickly. I got the chocolate chip, the banana muffins. I wanna ask the kids how these compare to the banana muffins that I make. And then I also got this, this pack back here, this box is strawberry yogurt muffins. So that will be good for the kids. Picked up some Pop-Tarts. These don't fly fast. The, the kids just like, eh, every now and then we'll have a Pop-Tart. But again, we're just stocking up to keep me out of the store longer. I thought this would just be great to have on hand, whether it is like a breakfast option with a fruit or something or like a snack. So got two different boxes. There's 12 in each. I got the brown sugar cinnamon and then the frosted hot fudge sundae. I need to ask the kids what kind they prefer. Mark went with me and we just decided on those two for this time. Okay, with the ramen salad that I'm making, I put cranberries in it. So I picked up some dried sweetened cranberries for that. Um, here's a non-food item. I'm not going to the Dollar Tree. I mean, these were only $1.50 versus $1.25 from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I, whenever the girls paint or do slime, specifically slime, I have them put a table cover on this table just to keep it out of, because this is like a raw top. And I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's slime and paint in the little, the grooves in my table. So we've been putting table covers on. So I got four of them. And then coming over here, when we went to the coast over our spring break weekend, my dad, one, um, one morning for breakfast, he made some breakfast tacos and he cooked up some chorizo to put in with the eggs and it was just super delicious. So I saw this right next to, this was what was on my list, <laughs> but I saw this and I was like, oh, I wanna get that. <laughs> so we have it on hand for whenever we wanna make breakfast burritos. So I did pick the pork chorizo up and then the mild Italian sausage I like to add with some zucchini into pasta sauce just to bulk it up. And we're actually having this for dinner tonight. We we're supposed to have it last night, but I couldn't find mild Italian sausage in any of the stores that I went to yesterday but H-E-B had me, had it for me. So went ahead and picked that up and we will have that with our dinner tonight. All right, this chicken, I picked up the last time I went to H-E-B and it is so good. It's rotisserie seasoned, boneless, skinless chicken breast and it just tastes really, really good. I think they flavored it great. So I picked it up again. It's just got some frozen chicken breasts in there. So got that to have on hand. Rose asked for some pepperoni minis. She likes a snack on these. So I picked those up. The slivered almonds is for a recipe. Got some of those. The hush puppies I picked up just to have on hand. We recently had these. I don't remember where we were. We were somewhere and we had some hush puppies and they were delicious. So <laughs> when I saw them next to the calamari, I put them in the cart. All right, stocking up my cake cup little organizer drawer. So got two different kinds. I got the community coffee and the coffee and chicory. This is like the Cafe du Monde um, for, out of New Orleans. So went ahead and this, I mean, this is the same thing. So it's a New Orleans style coffee blended with roasted chicory, but it was a dollar cheaper than the actual other brand. So I picked this one up. I know I like the community coffee. I've tried several of their flavors and then I've never tried this one, Lola Savannah. It's a vanilla cinnamon pecan. Sounded really good. So I picked that up. Both of these have 12 in it. Something for the kids just to have in the freezer, whether it is um, with a lunch or as a little snack, but there's five of the Auntie Anne's classic soft pretzels in here. And this is in the freezer, but bakes, bakes up really nice. So picked that up. Also grabbed a box of the Texas toast and the five cheese just to go with like a random spaghetti night to have in the freezer so I can pull that out when we need it. Another thing that the kids asked, they asked me to get some baked chips and normally at Sam's Club, they have like a huge box of different varieties. Did not find that but H-E-B had this, this little selection. So we picked this one up. 
It's got 18 bags total. So it's got the like original baked Lay's, it's got the barbecue Lay's, and then cheddar and sour cream ruffles. And then it has the baked Cheetos and <laughs> They don't really go for the popcorn, but I'll eat that. I like white cheddar popcorn. So it's got the white cheddar smart food in there. That's really the only thing that I was like, ah, oh, they're not gonna eat that, but this was the only baked option. So next time I'm at Target though, they have a really good selection of chips. So I'll just keep an eye out for more, but that'll definitely work for now. All right, so this, <laughs> this shaving cream is actually for slime making. This is the best kind, just the original. It's so funny because this is like, the can that they use in Jurassic Park. <laughs> so Pearl gets a kick out of that. So I got three cans of that. They've definitely been into a slime making phase. They even talked about selling it to like neighborhood kids or something. So that would be fun if they started doing that. So we got three bottles of that. Cranberry juice, got that. That's another thing that Bryce is new to liking is the cranberry juice and Mark loves cranberry juice. So. The Ocean Spray, Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice got added to the list. All right, so we have a prescription dog food for our dogs, but it's not supposed to be here for another couple days. The shipping is taking a little bit longer and they're almost out. I don't know if they're gonna run out before our bag gets delivered. So went ahead, picked this up just in case. It's by the same brand, um, the Purina. It's just, we have like a joint support one that like I said, is a prescription that we have ordered online. Um, so we tried to stay with the same brand just pick that up. It's a healthy weight, high protein formula. So if we need to use that, we, we will, otherwise we'll just mix it in if we don't need it, just so it doesn't go to waste. So pick that up. So that's everything over here. And then we're gonna turn this away. Cause like I said, we've got more. All right, this was something completely extra, <laughs> but H-E-B has so many good things when you really like take the time and look. So Pearl really loves these bubble teas and I got the, the popping bubble ones from Sam's Club. Bryce likes those, but Pearl likes any, any type of boba. Um, this one is like the gummy ones that they don't pop. They're more like a gummy in here. First I saw this one and I had to pick it up because it said Pearl, Pearl milk tea. And then I saw they had like all the flavor. So I only got one of each and this will last a good week cause I'll like tell her like you can only have one a day. <laughs> And this is not something that I'm gonna pick up every single time. I just saw them and I thought it would be fun to get one of each. So you can see how many different kinds they have. They have a matcha flavor, a Thai flavor, brown sugar, taro, and then just a regular bubble milk tea. And then I'm not quite sure like what the difference is between the pearl. So she's gonna be excited because she has not seen those yet. All right, we got some Johnsonville sausage links. This is a great option to add to breakfast in the morning and it's a quick option. The mandarin oranges, big old can of that. That's actually for the ramen salad. And then let me move some stuff around here so you guys can see. Picked up some SpaghettiOs just to have in the pantry as a quick lunch option. So Rose likes the just plain SpaghettiOs. So I did get two cans of that. This will be two different lunches, but Bryce and Pearl like the ones with the meatballs. And I like that these are a little bigger. So this will be great for Bryce and Pearl. So I got two of those. So like I said, two different lunch options got some steak sauce just to keep in the fridge i'm we i'm a weird one i guess i should not live in texas that's all i gotta say because i am not a huge steak fan and if i do eat steak i am that person that asks for it well done that's right i said it it's out there just that's the truth i like it well done and i don't like steak on its own i have to have something to dip it in <laughs> I was like, you know what? We're just gonna have some steak sauce on hand. That way, whenever we have steak, Mark's been picking it up here and there. I can, I can enjoy it as well. Everybody can just stare at me while I eat my well done steak with my steak sauce. <laughs> so pick that up. All right, I went ahead and got double creamers this time. Just again, we're, I don't think I'm gonna be going into the store for, We'll see if we can push three weeks for like the fresh stuff, maybe milk, who knows? I did get three gallons, but for as far as like everything else, I don't. I think we're good for several weeks. So I went ahead and got the Italian sweet cream, which I enjoy in the zero sugar. And then I also really like the caramel macchiato and the zero sugar. So my creamers, this will last me well over a month for sure. And then since we were at HEB, they are the only place that carries my favorite cereal. So this one's my go-to the Nature's Path Organic Sunrise Crunchy Vanilla. It is so good, it's so, so good. But they have a whole bunch of other flavors. So last time I think I got the cinnamon one, they do have a maple one, they have, 
like two other options, but this time I got the honey. So we're gonna try that one. But this one is like the vanilla is my favorite. It's my go-to. So I got two of those. They are fairly small. It's kind of expensive, I think, for like the amount that you get. This maybe makes like three bowls. Um, but it's just super, super good. So whenever I go to H-E-B, I pick it up. The Southern breaded okra, Pearl and I love this stuff. It's so good. So I picked up a bag of that. Here's some more like lunch items. I got the hard salami. I like to add that with the turkey as well as the bologna. Like I said, I like different types of meats and the cheeses. Um, we call it a Dagwood. So a little Dagwood sandwich there. So we got that. The roasted red pepper hummus. I enjoy hummus as well as Mark and Pearl really likes dipping different vegetables like those peppers into the hummus. So I went ahead and got the Central Market roasted red pepper hummus. Here's a 16 ounce sour cream that I'm gonna mix with that Fiesta Ranch dip. And then I also got the Southwest black bean dip. It just sounded good. Believe it or not, I went with a full stomach. So <laughs> things just sounded good to me this time. So I went ahead and got the Southwest black bean dip to snack on. I need some teriyaki sauce for a recipe. So I got that. Went ahead and got the bagel bites. <laughs> so now we got all the pizza things for the kids over the next month or so. Um, salsa, this is our absolute favorite and it's Mark's Good Stuff, the restaurant salsa. I think they have like three or four different varieties. The restaurant one, the blue label. That's our favorite and but I think H-E-B is the only, I th we might have found it at Walmart, but we basically pick it up whenever we go into H-E-B. Okay, these got me as an extra also. Like I said, I wasn't really that hungry, but I did pick up a couple extra things. Covered pretzels. These are a good snack. The kids enjoy them. I enjoy them. I got a bag of the chocolate covered pretzels and a bag of the yogurt covered pretzels, and I'll just add these both together into a container. Um, if you guys watched my fridge and pantry tour, I showed you guys that the Chipotle Tabasco was on our list. Mark wrote it down and he was almost out. We did get that so he can stock back up. He always has this on hand. He enjoys it. And then I got some yogurt. So I picked three up for me. I was like, yep, yogurt sounds good as a breakfast option this week. So I got a coconut in the Noosa. This is really, really yummy. I like this brand. A lemon, or this is honey, a honey. And then yes, I got a lemon as well. So three different ones. The non-fat Greek yogurt is actually, or the plain Greek yogurt is actually for a recipe. So I picked up two of those. Let me move some stuff around here. Okay, these got me at the checkout line. <laughs> so I picked up, we've been playing Hogwarts Legacy. So I think Rose will enjoy going through this, but this is a Harry Potter puzzle book. And it's got like a variety of puzzles in here. It's got some questions. You can see here some matching ones, some word puzzles. I think it has, yeah, it's got a word search in here. So I just thought that was fun. Um, I might hang on to these. I'm not sure yet if I'm just gonna add them because like I said, it's before Easter. Um, I might tuck them into their Easter baskets if I feel like it's not gonna be too different or too many more items than prices or I might hang on to these for our road trip so they have stuff to do in the car. Um, but I also saw this one and Pearl is obsessed with dinosaurs. She loves all the Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World movies. So this is a Jurassic World pocket expert. It says all the facts you need to know and it just is a little book full of information about Jurassic World. So I thought those are super cute. I'll have to hide those. They're not down here right now. Actually, Pearl's not even in the house. She's out with a friend. So I'll have to hide those. All right, I am going to make, I have it on my meal plan to make a smoothie bowl for the kids one morning. And I wanna just make it basic because Bryce doesn't like all the extra stuff in there. So I got packages of strawberries and bananas. And I wasn't quite sure how many I would need. Three bags is probably too many, but I know we will use them anyway and they're just going in the freezer. So it's not like they're gonna go bad or anything, but I did go ahead and pick up three bags of the strawberries and bananas. And if they really like that smoothie bowl, I'll be able to make it more than once. Okay, I got two different kinds of like frozen vegetable packs, but they're going together in one dish, like a stir fry um, dish that I'm gonna be making because they both sounded good. So instead of getting two of the same, I got two different ones to mix it up. So I got this one, it's broccoli, carrots, sugar snap peas, and water chestnuts. I really love the water chestnuts. And then I really love these little itty bitty corn corn pieces. So this is called a an Asian medley. It's got, let's see, it's got more sugar snap peas, the carrot sticks, broccoli, and those little carrots. I'm not quite sure what those are called, or not carrots, those little corn pieces. So I picked that up. That's gonna be with a stir fry. I'm gonna make this, oh my gosh, I found this recipe for a caramel macchiato chia pudding, like overnight pudding that you can make. And if you guys have 
seen any of my Instagram posts about when I go to the Starbucks, I always get a caramel macchiato. It's just my go-to drink. <laughs> so I am excited to try this chia pudding. So I went ahead and got some chia seeds, definitely cheaper than buying a bag to get them like from the fresh sec fresh section if your grocery store has it. So I went ahead and got that. All right, this is another recipe I'm excited to make. I'm making some street tacos. And I don't know if I've ever picked up the little itty bitty, like look how small these tortillas are. They are barely bigger than my hand or the, the palm of my hand, barely bigger than the palm of my hand. So I'm excited about that. I went ahead and got two packages in case we really enjoy it. So I have one. One of them will go in the freezer. I got a bag of the avocado chunks because Pearl likes to add avocado in her smoothie. So she'll be able to pull from that. Some W sauce, as I like to say, it's just easier. I even wrote on my list W sauce and Mark was like, I know what this is. I don't know why you didn't just spill it out. And I was like, well, well one, the waste of my ink. I know what W sauce is. I'm just gonna write W sauce. So I call this W sauce. The kids asked for some prime and we did find some at HEB. Normally I can only find it at Target, um, but there was it was all the way pushed back. They had the red, the pink, and then the green, the green was the only one I could reach or that Mark could reach because he was there with me. The other two were just pushed way too back. So we did get four. I don't drink this. I don't drink Gatorade or Prime, but the kids and Mark enjoy it. So we got four. So each of them can have one lemon lime Prime. I needed some rotini, although this says twirls, but it's rotini, same thing. I needed this kind of pasta for a recipe. So pick that up. The boys like the ruffles. Whenever I make Fiesta Ranch, they'll eat the veggies too, but they really love the ruffles dipped in the Fiesta Ranch. So made sure to pick those up. This was also a little, like something extra that I picked up. We have the hot cocoa um, cream cheese spread in the fridge that I picked up from Trader Joe's the last time I went. It's barely been used. And I don't know, I just saw this and I was thinking like breakfast. I don't know, I was like, oh, that sounds good actually. The caramel with the hot cocoa. So we'll see, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna spread some cream cheese on these in the morning and, and see how that goes. I need some unsweetened applesauce for a recipe. So I picked that up and then I was going through, I picked up, you guys are going to see in the Sam's Club haul, I picked up some greens, like a powder for the kids to add to their smoothies, um, just to add a little something, something, you know, get a little something extra into their little bodies. But I also wanted to try to find some kind of protein powder, but I didn't, I don't know. There's just so many different kinds of protein powders to choose from. And I want to make sure, and they're expensive because they come in like, they don't come in little things like this. They come in big old containers. So I want to see if the kids like the greens. And then I saw this one and I was like, you know, they do like peanut butter. So every now and then they can flavor. The greens don't, doesn't have any flavor. Um, but if they wanted to flavor their smoothies, I thought this might be good if they're doing like a strawberry and banana one that the peanut butter might be good in that. So I, I picked this one up. One, it was the only option that had like a small version. I didn't want to buy a big one if they're not going to like it, but this is just powdered peanut butter for them to add in there just for another, you know, a little extra something. And then sticking with the kids, the girls are out of face wash. So I went ahead, I got two different kinds. One, this one's going to stay in the shower for them to wash their faces in the shower because they share a shower. So I just got one and then, you know, when they're out of this, I'll just buy another one. It's the Burt's Bees Deep Cleansing Scrub, but I did get them two of their own to keep at their sinks because they each have their own sink. So I got, it's the same exact one. I just got two of them. So it's the refreshing, also Burt's Bees, refreshing foaming cleanser with cucumber and mint. I thought that would be really nice when they wash their faces in the morning. So they can wash their face in the morning and then at night when they take a shower, they can use that one. All right, last thing for smoothies, as you can tell, like the kids are just on a smoothie kit right now. So I went ahead and picked up different varieties so they can change it up instead of having the same thing every morning. But this one is the tropical blend. So it's the peaches, pineapple, bananas, and mangoes. I thought that sounded really good. So went ahead, I got, these are such small ones and they, I mean, I'm not sure. They make a smoothie every single day, whether it is as their drink in the morning to go with their breakfast or later on in the afternoon, um, they, they just make a smoothie. So I've got several different options for them to try out. And then last but not least, we got some cookies. Um, I saw this, it's a limited edition flavor. I don't know if it's new this year or not, but I don't think we've ever picked it up and it just, I thought the kids would enjoy it. So went ahead and got this blackout cake flavor cream Oreo. It's got two different kinds, maybe like a dark and a milk chocolate. I really don't know, but two different layers of chocolate cream in there. They are going to love that. And then I couldn't not pick these up. I'm actually going to have one right when I say bye to you guys. So these just sounded really, 
really, really good. I like that they're the thins, so I'm not eating as much. I don't know if the kids are gonna like these, the lemon flavor, but I picked these up because they sounded good to mama. So it they did not have them in any of the other size either. I was like looking all over, I was like, babe, that's what I call Mark. I was like, can you see, do they have any smaller packages? Nope, they just had this one, but I'm going to enjoy them. They're thin and crispy sandwich cookies and the lemon flavor cream just, just sounded really good. Like I said, I wasn't hungry, but I did pick up a couple extra things. Just H-E-B does that to me. Well, let's just be honest. Every grocery store does that to me, but we are now fully, fully stocked. I know you guys haven't seen Sam's Club yet, but I'm, this is the last grocery haul I'm filming and man, we're, we're set. We don't have to leave our house for a while. All right, there you have it. That's everything from H-E-B. I hope you guys enjoyed going over all the little things and hearing what I picked it up for and all of that. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. I would love to have you join me. This week is all grocery hauls, but next week is gonna be some recipes and you know, getting into the food that we're using. I've already gotten some comments coming in and messages over on Instagram asking to share like how we store everything. So I'm thinking of sharing that maybe towards the end of the week because as I'm talking to you guys, it is two days after we've done all the shopping and I still haven't put everything up just because we weren't paying attention to stocking up on top of an Easter weekend and we just haven't been home. We've been out with family and all of that. So now that the fresh week has started, I need to put everything away. <laughs> so as I get everything away, I'll be filming it and show you guys how we organize the refrigerators, the drink fridge, all of that. So we might be less a few items as well since it's a couple days longer. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video, which is the last grocery haul for this week. And that is a Sam's Club haul. And in that video, I am going to have a special guest chat with you guys for a minute. So definitely be on the lookout for that one.